dark slides are well someone's favorite trick i'm sure visually it's a very unusual offbeat kind of trick and just the sort of absurd spectacle that makes it just cool enough to put in a video game in fact i'd wager more often than not skate games have had some variation of a dark slide somewhere we can track the history of its inclusion all the way back to at least the first Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game, but possibly further. Session keeps the tradition by including its own dark slide mechanic, and much like the game, it can be hard to wrap your head around at first. I've had some time to mess around with them post 1.0, so I thought I'd share some tips, see if anybody was interested. As always, let's get into it. The dark slide catch function in session is vaguely similar to the manual catch mechanic. That is to say, you utilize the sticks in a similar way to manipulate the board catch. As a quick little aside, I love that they accounted for grip wear and the wear and tear functions. It's such a nice little touch. To get started, we have to actually enable dark slides first. And to do that, you select options in the pause menu, then gameplay, grind settings, and set dark slides on. I think it's a pretty fascinating mechanic. I believe depending on your flick and your catch timing, your feet will end up in different positions, so you can end up doing traditional and rally style dark slides, it's pretty cool. Once you set dark slides on, you will start catching on the underside. You can test it out by flipping a trick. If you're in regular, you'll want to flick your left stick up and your right stick down. The same way you would lock in for a 50-50 or a board slide. In fact, practicing kickflip board slides will probably be a big help when stepping up to the dark slide. The flick speed and turning motion will feel similar between both tricks. For Goofy, it's the opposite. Flick a trick and catch the board by pushing the right stick up and the left stick down. Now that you know what to do, you can start approaching obstacles. I learned here on these ledges at Chatham Towers pre 1.0, they're a bit more forgiving when you're trying to get a sense for how the trick works. Flip your board and start your body rotation. Catch the underside over the ledge and wait for that oddly satisfying crunchy scrapey grip tape sound. And now comes the tricky part. The pop out is difficult for a number of reasons, timing and execution being chief among them. In my experience, waiting for the last possible bit of obstacle had given me the best results. It helps to completely release the sticks in order to set up correctly. If you're using relative input, set up for proper input to flip out. I turned that off for this video to make it a bit easier on myself. At first, it's easier to just kick flip or heel flip out to get a sense for the pop out. When you've got the motions down, you can really start experimenting and getting weird with it. You can pretty much do any flip in or out so long as you've got the clearance. Gravity also makes it a bit of an issue. I play with mine about two to three notches away from max, so that might make it harder for me. I actually didn't test that out. But try using a bit lighter gravity and it might make your life a little bit easier. All right, so to recap, flip your board, catch the board on the underside and turn over the obstacle. Flick out at the end and turn out to roll away. There's a considerable amount of jank involved with dark slides, so if you're really committed to doing one, get ready for a little bit of a headache. Nevertheless, there are ways to make them look pretty great. Just keep at it and roll on. Is there anything you're struggling with? I might have an answer. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. I'm playing the game and learning stuff just like you guys, so I have nowhere close to all the answers, and there are people out there teaching better lessons than I. I just love to tinker with problems and see if I can figure them out, and if I can help somebody along the way, awesome. Thanks for watching.